Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. How are you? All right. So table saws, what are we talking about? Well, let's talk a little bit about table saw safety. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one thing or a couple of things that's really dangerous about a table saw because there are a lot of injuries every year. Yeah. So I'm going to remove the riving knife. And everything that we're doing right now, I do not recommend anybody to do. It's strictly for the demonstration on what goes wrong. OK. OK, so now what do you have to think about is not only getting your hand cut, but kickback. Yeah, and kickback with a table saw is where the saw blade actually throws the wood right back at you. So you think about it is when the user is cutting the board, they move the board back and forth. And look what it's doing to the blade. It's actually twisting the blade. Twisting the blade. So now you're fighting with the blade. And when that blade wants to, and it's usually after the halfway point, it's going to take the board, pick it up, and kick it back at you. So this blade is spinning forward. So there's yep. a lot of force trying to push this way. Right. You're saying that on the front half, I'm the teeth are going down, yep. pushing the wood down. But once you get past midway, right. now the teeth are coming up. Right. You have a lot of flat surface on the up pressure. And when you hit these blades, teeth on the back, it's going to grab it and go. OK. Well, I mean, it happened to me. It might have happened to you. But I'm not sure people who it hasn't have to understand how fast it happens and how scary it is. Because it's, it's just quick. shabam. It shabam is right. So the key is watch the blade, watching the rip bends, having a straight edge, not a crooked edge. OK. All right, so if you want, I have a piece of foam. And we're going to show kickback oh, with the piece of foam, not a piece of wood. So we can plug the saw in. I get my safety glasses on. Brave man, Mr. Silva. <laughs> OK. All right, so now I'm going to rip this through, see if I can get it to kick back. See how it lifted? So. Not nearly dramatic if it was a piece of wood. Oh, if it was a piece of wood, it would be, it would be deadly. Let's right. put it that way. But you can see the idea. It was both trying to force it up, which is really yep. bad, and then in that case, shoot in the back. But also, if you think about it, I said I have two things against me. I don't have a riving knife. The riving knife would help against this, It'd help against the pinching of the board when it went through. But also, the blade being so high, if I was to cut, go through here, and this grabbed my hand on a takeoff point, I would probably lose my fingers. Right. If I put the blade down where it should go, where the teeth just come through the top of the surface, and I did get kickback, I would get less chance of losing a finger. So nowadays, you can't even buy one of these things without a riving knife on there. No. And it's, I think it's cut down a lot on the accidents. So I have my height, a lot less. And I have my riving knife that now helps me control that piece to keep it tight against the rip fence and straighter. Right, because it's very difficult for it to start to go this way right. because it's going to be hitting this knife, preventing right. it from crossing that plane of the blade. So let's keep this on. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure this is the proper height. It is. Let's keep an eye on this little gap right here so that we're perfectly safe. Right. And then I notice where you're standing, you know, which I'm is. I'm right here. I got room for that piece to go right by me. That's all good safety protocol. All good. Yeah. So what about the newest safety feature? I really cannot cut myself bad on this saw because of the safety feature on this saw. As soon as my skin if it gets to that blade, that blade just disappears. Right. Instantly stops. It's a remarkable technology. It is amazing. Let me show you something. Let me show you what I made. All right. There you go. What? <laughs> hamburgers and hot dogs. you got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Are That's... those hot dog fingers and a hamburger <laughs> palm? Yeah. Hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. So let me That's show you insane. what happens here. So, oh my God! This saw has a special feature, but I'm going to turn it off for the demonstration. So are you literally going to run this through? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, are you a ketchup or All a right, mustard so guy? Watch. <laughs> We're going to find out. Oh, that's pretty gross. Oh my God. I'm laughing because you made a hamburger, <laughs> but that's 
not laughing material. Yeah, right a lot now. of people have lost limbs because of that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But as you say, um, special technology here. Yep. So special technology. So now I've got to take it and put it back in the safety mode. Tell me you have another hamburger. I might. I might. I'll have to look. So explain to everyone how this technology works and what's going on. Okay, so inside the saw down below here, in back of the blade, there's actually a brake. And that brake has electric, let's say like electric field in it that's sent out and it goes around the surface of the teeth and it senses any moisture. Right, and when it senses that? It automatically short circuits the brake shuts it off and stops it instantly and the blade falls down. Right. But let's see how that medium rare turns out. Wow. Wow. So let let's me see. see. The, and let's see the damage. Not a nick. Look at that. Nothing. 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 A little worse there. Compare and contrast is remarkable. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's just instantaneous. And yeah. so the blade is gone. The blade's ruined. So you never ever reuse the blade. So other attachments as well. Yeah. So another thing keep, that we took off. Keep the sawdust from blowing up in your face. If you're ripping a lot, you have a, a one here with a high arriving knife. So if I push this through like that, you run a saw. And this so this is protecting your fingers. This is protecting your fingers. It's keeping the sawdust from blowing in your face also. So we'll put that right in the groove. There you go. Now, as you run it through, you see those little things right there in the back? Your fingers, the fingers are pulling up. Those are called paws. So as I push this through, right, they're in the air. And if they're jagged, they're like teeth. So when it grabs and digs into the wood, it stops it from kicking back at you. So writhing knife, good operator, uh, paws, uh, blade guard like this, dust collection. You have all these features on a new saw. Add in the flesh sensing technology, you really start to understand why table saw injuries have dropped so precipitously. Way down, yeah. That is awesome. Well, lots to learn there, Tommy. Unbelievable demonstration, which is terrific. And you've, uh, hey, listen, you know what? Let's fire the grill up. <laughs> well done. Oh, thank you, thank well you. Well done. Thank you, Tommy. My pleasure. I'll take one of those for the road. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.